the strategy of this war. This summer, and you reiterated right now, the progress has been slower than desired. And recently, one of your top generals said Ukraine has, quote, reached a stalemate. Has the war reached a stalemate? Uh, Christine, you know, on the 24th of February, when Russia invaded our cities, country, our land, our families, and they attacked all of us, the world gave us three days. Some European countries who really believed in us, they said one month. Others said it will be very quick. And this is really this situation, what they said. But now we speak with you. Now it's almost two years. Now initiative in our hands. Yes, a lot of people, of course, in the world are tired. I hear you rejecting the characterization by your top general that this is a stalemate. Are you changing strategies, as has been reported? I believe that today, indeed, the situation is difficult. I don't think that this is a stalemate. It's a, it's a check on the, uh, on, the, on the part of the Russian army, but before that we did a lot, we had done a lot, we were in a difficult situation. They thought that they would checkmate us, but this is, didn't happen. Of course, Russia understands that now when focus from Ukraine taken off and when this focus to the Middle East and when they try to divide the world in this crisis, Israel uh, Palestine crisis. And of course, of course, Russia is very happy with this war. They don't count how many children were killed there. They don't think about the flag or nationality. I don't have, for today, I don't have any, any relations with Russians. And they know my position. That is the position of my country. That is the position of our people. We don't want to make any dialogue with terrorists. And the President of the United States and Congress, bipartisan support, all these people, they know that I am not ready to speak with the terrorists, because their word is nothing. Nothing. We can't trust terrorists, because t terrorists always come back. It doesn't mean that we want to fight all our life, because the price is high, like I said, because the war takes the best of us, the best heroes, the best men, women, children. That's it. But we are not ready to give our freedom to this terrorist Putin. That's it. That's why we are fighting. That's it.